Hello, I'm Suzanne Oprel. I'm professor of medicine and director of the vascular biology and hypertension program at the University of Alabama at Birmingham in the U.S. I also am a past president of the American Heart Association and was involved in the leadership and the steering committee of the All Head Clinical Trial. There's a great need for All Head in the 1990s because uh, it had not been clearly shown that any particular antihypertensive drug would prevent heart attack, stroke, heart failure. And there were a number of new classes of antihypertensive drugs, such as calcium channel blockers, ACE inhibitors, angiotensin receptor blockers, and alpha blockers, as well as beta blockers, that uh, wanted to compete with the standard treatment diuretics. But the newer drugs were much more expensive, much more costly. And the question was, do these newer agents offer advantage over diuretic treatment in the prevention of cardiovascular disease outcome? And for that reason, Allhead was designed. The primary purpose of Allhead was to test whether any of these classes of antihypertensive agents or any of them was superior to the other classes in preventing fatal coronary heart disease and myocardial infarction, as well as number of secondary outcomes like stroke and heart failure, which now has become much more important in the world as a, as a cardiovascular outcome. Since beta blockers, had, which were one of the major classes of antihypertensive medications, had been shown in previous trials to prevent cardiovascular disease events, they were not included in the randomization as choices of therapy. Alhet was the very largest randomized control trials of cardiovascular disease outcome, ended up with more than 33,000 participants um, located in the United States and the, the uh, Caribbean islands. Uh, it was very well designed, very well balanced, comparing uh, to chlorth the diuretic chlorthalidone, the uh, calcium channel blocker, amlodipine, the ACE inhibitor, lisinopril, and also an alpha blocker. But the alpha blocker uh, was dropped out early because it did not lower blood pressure as well as the other agents. And it also uh, led to an increase in heart failure. Uh, the patients, the large number of patients and a large number of centers were very well followed. Uh, the results were very well documented, and the outcomes were very clear. The inclusion criteria included uh, individuals over 55 years of age at increased cardiovascular risk related to their blood pressure, also to other, uh, other coexisting conditions such as uh, diabetes, um, smoking, low HDL cholesterol, and so on. There were a number of consideration so that we selected high-risk individuals to join the trial. The primary outcome was fatal or non-fatal MI, myocardial infarction. And uh, the secondary outcomes included all-cause mortality, heart failure, stroke, and a variety of other cardiovascular events. So the thing was that the newer agents, that is the calcium channel blocker and lodipine, the ACE inhibitor lisinopril were not better than chlorthalidone, the thiazide type diuretic, in preventing uh, the numerous cardiovascular disease events uh, that were considered outcomes, and particularly uh, fatal or not fatal, fatal or non-fatal coronary artery disease. Uh, there was no respect in which any of the other agents. Uh, was more effective than chlorthalidone. And chlorthalidone was more effective than the others in preventing some key events such as heart failure. Uh, so the bottom line was in the interpretation of the investigators that there's no reason to place any of these newer classes of agents ahead of chlorthalidone uh, in treating patients with hypertension. All had showed that most of the participants, about two thirds of the participants, needed more than one drug. And it was showed that uh, chlorphalidone also was very well uh, combined with either an ACE inhibitor or a CCB 
or even some of the other agents that were not specifically listed as choice. Patients could be treated with other agents if needed. And as, as I said, stated before, most of the patients needed more than one drug uh, to attempt to achieve control, blood pressure control. Now, one major challenge was that uh, initially an alpha blocker, doxazosin, was included as one of the treatments, but it was found early on that doxazosin was A, less effective at lowering blood pressure, and B, um, the treatment led to an increase in heart failure events, so that the doxazosin arm was stopped early on. I was as I stated, I was involved in all that right from the beginning, so I was aware of the dramatic results showing um, excellent outcomes with chlorthalidone. So I, I never use a, any uh, thiazide type diuretic other than chlorthalidone. And chlorthalidone is recommended by the most recent uh, U.S. national guidelines and most guidelines in the world as the diuretic of choice for treating hypertension. Second of all, um, I became aware that uh, Amlodipine is a superior calcium channel blocker, and I choose it as the uh, calcium channel blocker of choice if I need a vasodilator. Uh, and uh, the ACE inhibitors such as lisinopril are also very valuable. So I choose those agents um, because of this dramatic uh, demonstration of reduction in cardiovascular events uh, above others.